Hi there, in this video we're going to start looking at the control section. Now, what we see here is the CPU, okay, so then the control section, the four registers, the ALU, the accumulator, and the temp registers, the instruction address register, instruction register, and there's a RAM here as well. Now, the instruction address register and instruction register aren't, aren't connected as well as the memory address register isn't connected either, um, because we don't really need it here at the moment and we don't have all the functions within the control section required in order to control these okay so if I reset this simulation now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how the control section works by adding two numbers okay so let's just go get started in this so let's say we're going to add uh, the number uh, one two say four and three okay so that's the binary four and that's a binary three okay now let's have a look in the control section in the control section and what we see is this thing up here called a stepper okay now what that does is it counts one two three four five six seven as the clock pulses pass by okay and as it counts we can take a connection off from each of these okay as we've done here and each of these are wired up to the sets and the enables so all of the sets are down the right hand side and all the enables are down the left hand side and they all go through AND gates okay so that they're ANDed with the connections here and with the clock enable on this side and the clock set on that side okay now let's have a look inside this stepper okay now this counts along uh, one two three four five six and seven okay now it's slightly different from what's in the book there i've, I've, I've changed the position of this uh, not gate okay so, as i mentioned earlier it allows us to ensure that the the clock passes through here correctly um, so let's um have a wee look at it i might come back to this again and just quickly explain it but let's have a look at the um how this is going to work okay so it's best done just by me actually going through the example so we've got one one here and one there okay so the first 12 clock pulses won't actually do anything because there's not no connections in number one two and three and it takes four clock pulses to go through each of those so it'll take 12 clock pulses for me to get to this point here okay so let's just go through the 12 clock pulses and i'll just count them through nothing will happen one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so that's the 12 clock pulse now in the 12 clock pulse we've got to point four and now you can see what's happening this stepper okay has got to point four okay so it's given an output there you can hear it and the other end of this AND gate is connected to the clock enable the clock enable is high at this point in the clock cycle and you'll see that the first thing we want to do is we want to enable R0 so what we're doing is we're putting the value of R0 onto the bus and at the same time we want to set the temp okay so the temp register has been set so that means that what we're asking it to do in the first step here is put the value that is in the register R1 into the temp register and you can see that happening at the top level so there you go that's register 0 that's register 1 register 1 has been enabled so we're sticking the value that's in register 1 on to the output now we know it's on register 1 it's the value 4 and the way that the bus works here is that the one on the inside is the least significant bit and it's working its way out to the one on the outside is the most significant bit so that you can see is, is the value 4 so it's 1 2 4 okay so that's sitting on the bus and it's going round here and of course it's, it's trying to get into every single point it possibly can okay but it will only be allowed into one point and the point it will be allowed into will be 
the temp and it'll be the we'll be allowed in the temp by setting the temp now the temp's not quite set yet because it's still waiting for this clock set okay so whenever this clock set goes high that temp the, the value we read into temp so let's make that high just now so we're looking for temp set to go high and there you go so temp set's gone high so that value there four is going into that temporary register now that is just passes straight through to this point here so i've got a four yeah you can see it but that's there's a four sitting there just going into the alu okay so that's the first little section done now what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the next clock pulse the set will be uh, disabled so that will be the, the value 4 will be held in that um, register the temp register so let's go through and then we're going on to position 5 okay so we'll get to so it's in position 5 so that comes off one now that should us be let's see that's just, just going on to position 5 so in position 5 what we want to do is we want to read the value from R0, okay, register R0, on, and we want to put it into the accumulator, okay, and we want the accumulator, sorry, yeah, to be set, okay, so watch this, we'll see, um, so we want R0 to be enabled, and you can see that the enable has gone high in R0, so it's past the value, one 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 to the bus so there's a bus containing the value one one okay now the way this is working now is we have a value of four on this point here okay and it, there's there's no bus there's no um register to that we need to set in order to put it in here okay we don't require one so that's just a straight pass through here so there's four there and there's three there okay now is it set now all of these inputs to that control the ALU are set at zero. Okay, so the ALU will just begin through its addition. So if I get into the ALU and we have a look, we can see we've got three going into A and four going into B. So uh, when you come down here, you can see that the value is uh, zero in the inputs here, A, B, C. So it means that this least significant bit is chosen. So that goes into the enabler. So it'll pass the value here straight out to the output. Okay, and the value here happily is four plus three, which is seven. So that's seven in binary. So it's one, two, four, four, five, six, seven. Now let's get into the adder and have a little look. So we get into the adder here. You can see A's got the value of three and B's got the value of four. Okay, so it's coming in here and it's adding these together and it's given the output and it's given it correctly because you get the one uh, plus the zero gives us a, a one there and with no, without any carry okay and then in here it's uh, gives us the one plus the zero gives a one without any carry and again one plus the zero gives us a one without any carry okay so you get one 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 coming out there and I'll just quick flick in there so you can see that happening here okay now let's go back to the CPU the value here where we well where we've got to now let's see where we've got to we've got to this point here where the r0 is been enabled onto the bus okay now the accumulator hasn't been set with the value 7 yet okay so that's the next thing that will happen so down here we've got 7 coming in here but it's not been set in the accumulator okay so it hasn't, that hasn't captured that value so let's just get in and we'll we'll capture that value okay so we just need to get in and have another clock pulse okay let's see that's one right that's the next one that's us there so that's this work through as i hate it's four clock pulses per movement in that stepper okay so there's the sum the sum is seven so that's all three have gone high so that value there is seven so the value is seven there okay so that's the accumulator okay had been set okay and then it's going on to value 
to, to position number six, okay? And on the position number six, the accumulator was enabled, it has been now been enabled, okay, because it was set previously in that last section, has now been enabled onto the bus, but nothing's happening with it. But in the next clock pulse, what we'll do is we'll set register R3, so R3 will accept the value that's on the, the bus from the accumulator, okay? So what we're going to have is a register R, R0, 1, 2, 3, so that's register R3, we'll get the value of 7 whenever that goes to set, okay? And we'll see that happening. There you go. So it's register R has gone to set, and you can see that's changed to 1, 1, 1. So that's us going through. If we press the next value here, then we go back to the beginning, and we see that the accumulator, sorry, the stepper, when it gets to 7, 7 goes back to reset, which is right at the beginning, uh, position 1. You can you can't quite see it. Um, maybe if I draw a line, I don't know if you'll... Let me see if I'll do it. Yeah, you can. So you can see when we draw a line there that we're now back at position 1. So position 1 is going to uh, bright green, OK? So that's us going through that simulation of us adding two numbers. So you can get a gist of what's happening throughout this, uh, the, the CPU. So that's the first bit of the part of the control section. But, you know, what makes it interesting is we go through another couple of examples where we have to change this wiring. But then it obviously it gets very interesting because then we have to some have some automatic way of changing the wire. And obviously we don't get and change the wire every time we want to uh, do some uh, some program. So we need an automatic way of changing the wire in order to get the program. And that's where the the interesting part of the control section comes in. Uh, probably in, in the next video as well, I'll, I'll talk through the uh, this little section, the stepper section. Okay. So thank you for listening. And goodbye.